Okay, in this video, we're going to have this cat run uh, in place, create this animation. Um, same as we did in the last video with the spaceman, but then we're going to add some scenery beyond that, and this is just be a good review file. Our cat is called, uh, file is runningcat.png. It's opened up in Fireworks. We will use the marquee tool to select the first part of the cat. Okay, this cat has um, eight different motions. We'll open up our flash file and we will paste the cat on. So we're, we're importing the document, current frame as a movie clip. Click OK. All right. We'll modify this by breaking it apart. All right. Now within this, we will also modify this and convert it to a symbol. Okay. So this will be our cat. Okay, it's a movie clip. Click OK. And then we'll double click it and we'll work again inside of the um, scene. Okay, so cat, as we see over in this area here, will be this animation that will we can use over and over again. Same as we did with the spaceman. All right, so, okay, so in our timeline, I go, I hold the shift key at the first frame and I get to the eighth frame I hold the shift key to highlight all the frames in between right click and we're going to convert these to blank keyframes so that every new keyframe has a different motion for the cat okay onion skinning is turned on all right second keyframe there's nothing on it yet we're going to go get it from fireworks Here's the second cat. It's already rectangular marquee I've used. Command C to copy. Paste it. Click OK by importing it. And I'll hit the align, center, and um, vertically and horizontally. All right. And then click to the third frame. Back to fireworks. Copy it. I'm on the third frame, paste it, again import the document as a bitmap and import the appearance. And here's the next frame, center, center, all right. And you'll continue this through all eight frames. I'm going to cut off the video and then we'll pick it up um, in the next part. Okay, so here we are. We've sped up a little bit. I, I'm using the bracket, uh, the Bracket keys next to the M to go through. I'll turn off the uh, onion skinning. So this is what you have. You have eight frames of this animation. Okay, and that's backwards and forwards. Okay, if you hit Command and Return, it'll bring up the movie player, and there's my cat. Okay, we'll close that out. So that's our cat. I'll go back to scene one, and we can. So this is the original cat layer. I can delete that out. Bring the cat from my library right on. Okay. Label it cat in the layers palette. Okay. And then play the movie. Now he's in place. So going back to what we learned previously, we can make this into an animation. So we'll start him off the stage. Uh, I'll go to like 60. Insert a keyframe. Okay, move the cat across. All right. Create a motion tween and play the movie. And there he is running across the screen. Okay, up to this point, we've created their, the cat running across our stage. Okay, here's the movie player. Now let's add a background behind the cat. Okay, first step, add a new layer. We'll call this BG for background. Okay, I'm on frame one, and we're going to build it there. I'm going to use the pencil tool. Black is my color. I want to do one other thing. I want to view the rulers. 
view of rulers, go into the ruler at the top and drag it down, kind of like in the horizon line back here. Our mountain range, now I'm on the pencil tool, will start at the guideline and the left side of the stage and just draw a mountain scene. Okay, come back down. It has to end at the guideline on the right side of I messed that up. All right, oh, it's gnarly. Okay, next step, highlight that. Command C copies, Command V paste, and move it into place, one next to the other. I'm gonna change my view to 50% because I wanna see that whole section. There we go. It has to begin and end here, okay? So, I'm gonna just stretch this out on this side. I made a mistake there. Oh, there it is, okay, it's good. Now, I'm on the first frame, okay? I'm gonna go to the frame 60, insert a keyframe, and then, so at one, I'm here. At 60, I'm gonna move the mountain range it has to end at this point here. There we go. All right. And then create a motion tween. And let's play that. Let's see what it looks like. There we go. So there's our background. Okay. So in this video, let's add more cats to the scene going across the page. I'll add a new layer. I'll call it Cat 2. I'll go to my library. Here's the cat. We created this animation earlier. Let's bring him on the stage. We're at uh, first frame. Let's see. Here's the cat here. Let's make him smaller. Let's put him back in the background here. We'll move him back. Okay. Uh, we'll go to 60th frame insert a keyframe and we'll have him go across to here we can also um, create the motion tween and down in in the properties palette I'll bring that up here ease it we'll we'll start it we'll bring the easing up a little bit okay and we'll see what that does command return and here's our scene and that cat kind of comes out really quick. Okay, do it again. He jumps out to a fast start. Looks like they're racing. All right, so what I want you to continue doing is adding more cats to the scene. You can also have the cat go across the scene, add another cat from the right to the left and animate it going across the scene. Great.